right? Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakapadash, Rebbethon, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They were well in the salute, in the Shalom to all the Akim that are out there laboring and pushing this truth in all sincerity and in truth. Um, the title the title of this lesson is going to be repent for what right repent for what right uh, I was watching Elder Apostle Arambla's video uh, uh, earlier while um, I was at work and um And he was saying uh, that you got to tell Jake why they should repent and why they ought to repent. You just can't say uh, 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 repent and they ask you uh, for what, but you say, don't worry about it. Just, just uh, don't worry about it. Just repent. Right? So the title of this lesson is repent for what? All right. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give the warning for me. Okay? So we're supposed to warn the house of Israel. Warn them of what? of the hour of temptation, right? Um, 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 the destruction, right? We're supposed to warn them of the day of God. Uh, we're supposed to warn them of the day of the Lord, man. Right? We're supposed to tell them that if they don't repent, that they're going to be destroyed. Okay, you, you all right? You just can't say a uh, repent, and they because they will ask you, repent for what? Why? What's the purpose of it? You, you just can't say. Don't worry about it. Just do it. What? No. You have to warn Jacob. You have to warn Jacob and and persuade Jacob that if they don't repent, that they will be destroyed. Right? It says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, right? Meaning you're not telling him why he should repent okay you're not telling him uh, 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 of the hour of temptation you're not telling him uh, um, of the bad time of the hour of Jacob's trouble okay you're just saying repent repent for what man why should why should why should we why should we slap you why should we repent, man? For what? For what purpose? For what reason? It says, Nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his con. It says, The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Okay? So, so if you don't warn Jacob, if you don't warn the house of Israel, then their blood is on your hands. Okay? It says, Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Why? Because you warned him. Right? All right? He didn't take heed. He didn't listen. No big deal. Cool. But you have delivered your soul, though. 
Why? Because you don't have no blood on your hands, man. Right? Because the guy from, uh, I think his name is uh, uh, Gaboria from the House of Wisdom. He, uh, he basically said that we shouldn't be talking about the destruction or we shouldn't, yeah, we shouldn't be talking about Esau, Edom going into slavery or anything like that when the scripture says that. When the scripture says that Esau, Edom is going into slavery. Okay? The scriptures speak of the destruction. It speaks of the hour of temptation. It speaks of Jacob's trouble. Okay? It speaks of that. Since it speaks of that, we're going to speak on it. Right? Because if you don't speak on it, then you're doing what? You're doing the work of Yahweh by Shemel Rashad deceitfully. Okay, this is uh, Jeremiah 48 and 10. It says, Cursed be he that doth, God, that doeth the work of Yahweh by Shemal Shah deceitfully. And that, God, and, and cursed be he that keepeth his sword back from blood. Right? <clears throat> so, doing the work of Yahweh by Shemal Shah deceitfully is you not warning Jacob. Okay, is you just telling them to repent without giving them a reason why they should repent, right? And you don't tell them why they should repent because if they don't repent, this would happen. You have to warn them, man. Because it says what? Through the terror of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh we persuade men, right? Second Corinthians 5 and 11, it says, it says, uh, knowing therefore the terror of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, we persuade men, for we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also are made manifest through your consciences, right? Now, it says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, okay? Terror, right? Meaning, what man? Meaning, if we don't warn you, then judgment would be upon us. Okay? So we are warning you, persuading you of, right, uh, um, uh, uh, um, 
of the judgment that's coming upon America. And if you don't want to be a part of that, if you don't want to partake in that judgment, then you got to repent. Period, man. You just can't say, a repent, a repent, a repent. For what? Why, though? Why repent? For what? What's the purpose of repenting? For what? Why do it? What's the purpose of it? Prophets that have been before me and before the abode prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilences. Okay? Right, because when you don't warn Jacob, when you just tell Jacob to repent and that's it, you're not telling him nothing. You're just uh, telling them what they should do with, without giving them a reason why. All right? Because when you just tell someone to uh, repent, they ain't going to, they won't take you serious, man. They say, what? For what? But you say, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. What you mean, don't worry about it? You are telling me to do something and I'm asking you why. See? All right, man, that's like telling your child not to do something, right? Not to touch, all right, not to touch the stove when it's on, uh, when it's on. And they ask you why. Uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, 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 and you say, don't worry about it. You just don't do it. There has to be a reason why you don't want your child to touch the stove when it's hot. So you tell them what? Because it'll burn you. That's the reason. Okay, so Jake, if you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed. That's the reason. Two thing, man. Let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, I just had a scripture. It left me. Let's get Ezekiel. 33. Ezekiel 33. Alright. Ezekiel 33 and 1. It says, Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man uh, of their coast, and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land and blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then whoso heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Why? Because he didn't take heed to the warning, right? 
but the watchman, he blew the trumpet, right? To warn the people of the city, okay? It says, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul, right? So when you hear the sound of the trumpet, right? That's a, right? And that's the trumpet of what? Of war. Okay? So if you don't, all right? So, all right? So if you don't want to, uh, to, uh, to, to uh, die, then guess what, man? You will take heed to the warning. Okay? We're blowing the trumpet. We're telling you, Jacob, what you got to do and why you should do it. All right? We're not just saying repent, repent, repent. And that's it. No, we're telling you why you should repent. All right, we're, all right, we're, we are telling you if you don't repent, this is going to happen to you. It says, then whosoever heareth. Okay, Khan, it says, uh, okay, Khan, uh, 33 and 6. It says, but if the watchmen see the, uh, Khan, but if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned. If the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Okay, now is Nate warning his congregation of the hour of temptation of Jacob's trouble? No. All right, so when that day comes, And his congregation is taken away. That blood is going to be on Nate's hands. Okay. Is Yohanna. Is he. Uh, 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 warning. Uh, uh, warning his congregation. Of the hour of temptation. Of Jacob's trouble. No. All right. Because. All right. Because one of. Them dudes in IGPK said Jacob Trouble is gay. See? Now, verse 7, it says, So thou, oh, is, uh, is, uh, is a Bach, is he warning his congregation? Of the time of trouble. No, he's not. But instead, he's building. He's building a whole Hebrew like community that's not going to save him during that time. So, what he's doing, he's doing it in vain because it's not going to last. I'm trying not to talk so much because when I talk, my my tooth hurts. Uh, Ezekiel 33 and 7 says, So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. Okay? So, we're going to warn you, Jake, whether you want to hear it or not. Not, man. Okay, Jake? If you don't want to hear it, it doesn't matter. We still have to warn you, man. Because if, because if we don't warn you, then, then we would be in danger of being judged. Because we didn't warn you. Okay? So, we're, so we're not hiding nothing, man. We ain't hiding nothing from you, Jake. We we are telling you what it is, man. Let's get this. Uh, uh, Acts twenty twenty six. It says, "Wherefore, I take you to record this day, that I am pure from the blood of all men." Okay, so.
We are pure from the blood of all men. Why? Because we warned you all. We told you what it is. We told you what it's going to be. Right through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Verse 27 it says, For I have not shunned, right? I have not hid, I have not concealed to declare unto you all the counsel of the Heavenly Father. Okay? So we so we ain't hiding nothing, man. We, we ain't hiding nothing, man. We we're telling you what it is, man. Okay? Now, if you take heed, cool. That's what's up. If you don't, okay. No big deal. and 15 it says the simple believeth every word but the prudent man look as well to what's going okay so if you are a prudent man then you will search the scriptures <clears throat> you won't believe everything you hear but you will search the scriptures daily but you will search the scriptures daily man okay because in the scriptures, it speaks of what? Jacob's trouble. It speaks of what? The mark of the beast. Okay? It speaks of the two-thirds of the nation of Israel being destroyed. Okay? Yeah, all right. And it also says if you're not signed and crying, then you're going to be destroyed. Let's get Ezekiel 9 and 4. Ezekiel 9 and 4, it says, And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of realm. Okay? So, The men that sighing and crying for all the for all of these abominations that's being done here in America, those are the ones that's that's going to be exempt from judgment. Okay, those are all right, those are the ones that's going to be delivered. Okay, but the ones that's not sighing and crying. It says this, verse 5, it says, But kind of to the others, he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. It says this, Slay, slay utterly old and young, were both made and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin in my sanctuary, they begin at the house so like yeah, they began at the ancient men which were before the house okay so this right here proves that judgment will begin at the house of Israel right will begin at the house of Yahweh okay in the house of Yahweh are the Israelites the ones that know that they are Israelites okay judgment will begin at us first Okay, so you got to tell 
Israel what it is, man. You have to tell Israel what they should do, man. And why they should and all right, and why they should do it. Because Israel is supposed to be afraid, man. It's supposed to be uh, uh, fearful if they don't repent. It says what? Well, it says that be it says that the fear of Yahweh Bashimasha is the beginning of knowledge. Okay? So so the, the fear of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is knowing that if you don't come is uh, knowing that if you don't repent, that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah will destroy you. Okay? Repent for what? Because well well because if you don't you will be destroyed. Period. Man, it's going with the spirit. Take me, man. It's like Ryan, thirteen and eight. It's like a thirteen and nine. No. Yeah, thirteen and eight. It say. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said Yahweh, two parts that therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Okay? So two parts is two thirds of Israel being cut off and being destroyed. Okay? So if you don't repent, then, then you will be of the two thirds. All right, because the two-thirds will be destroyed. Then will they come back in the kingdom? Of course. Yeah, they will. But it says what in uh, Romans 11 and 26. Uh, um, 11 and 26. It says this. It says, all Israel shall be saved. Right? It says, uh, um, as it is written, all Israel shall be saved. Okay? Lost for their day is great, so they know it's like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, so who's going to be saved out of it? All right, so who's going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble? The elect of the nation of Israel will. Okay, So, Jacob's trouble is in the scriptures. Right? And we're coming into the... Uh, Alright? We are in the time of Jacob's trouble. Alright? But it will intensify. It will intensify, man. This is Revelation. Since he said that we shouldn't be talking about Esau going into slavery. Well, let's get this scripture. Revelation 13 and 9 to 10, it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in, it says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay? So, if you lead a nation into captivity, you're going into captivity. Who led us into slavery? All the all the other nations did, in 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 including Esau Edom. So Esau Edom is going into slavery. Mm. 
Is that it? Let's see. I don't know. I can't remember at all. Um. Hmm. Yeah, Jeremiah 30. Tripping. Jeremiah 30 and 17. It says, well, 16. It says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that pray thee will I give for a prey. God says, And all that, 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 that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. Okay, so Yahweh Bashem al is going to judge our enemies. Okay, is going to judge the heathen nations, especially Esau Edom. Okay, it also talks about what? Um, uh, 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 America, being, uh, America being destroyed. You can go to Isaiah 13 uh, 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 for that. Uh, Jeremiah 50 and 51. Uh, you can go to uh, Revelation uh, 17 and 18 for that. All right, you can go to Amos 9 and 8. Amos 9 and 8 says what? It says, Behold, the eyes of Yahweh power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Save me that I will not utter, that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh, right? So that sinful kingdom in this day and time is America. So it's going to be destroyed. That's why they have what? Missiles. Okay? Plus, the scriptures don't say that if you Right? Plus, the scriptures don't say if you're not going to push the button uh, 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 to launch the missiles, then, then you shouldn't speak on it. You don't say that. You don't say that, man. We're going to speak what the words say, man. We're going to speak the words of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. If you don't like it, that's on you. So the fuck what? You don't fucking matter, man. We're going to speak the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. It says what? Uh, uh, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Don't make no fucking sense, man. You have the nerve to tell us that, that we shouldn't talk about Esau going into slavery when it's in the scriptures. We shouldn't talk about uh, uh, about uh, uh, about two-thirds being destroyed. Uh, don't worry about that. We shouldn't tell them why they should or repent, but just repent. What? No, man. No, man. No. Isaiah 30 and 9 to 10, it says... Uh, to 11 it says this that this is a rebellious people lying children children that will not hear the law of Yahweh which say to the seer see not not unto the prophets prophesy not come prophesy not unto us comes like you prophesy not so like it prophesy not unto us smooth things hold on hold on so, so like so like so like it Prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. So he wants us to, the guy from uh, from, from from House of Wisdom, he wants us to uh, to prophesy deceits. He 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 basically won't, he he basically want us to do the work of Yahweh and because he he basically wants us to do the work of Yahweh Bashem Shah deceitfully. That's what he wants, man. So, so we can end up like him. No, man. No, no, man. We actually fear Yahweh. All right, man. We actually fear Yahweh. And 
socket. Man, we actually fear Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, period. All right, man. Yes, man. Here in Great Millstone, we fear Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. Right? That's why we are very, very, very careful in what we say and how we say it. It says, get you out of the way, turn aside, out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. See? All right, man. So, with that, I say, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Kavadash, by the thumb. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that were well. And a salute and a shalom to all the Akim that are out here laboring and pushing their truth and all sincerity and the truth. And with that, I say shalom.